Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel again. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers I've got this week. It has been immense. So yeah, thank you very much. So today my gorgeous client Kaz has come back in and we've removed the four nails that were hanging on for dear life because <laughs> she came in after six weeks this time because a little girl got chicken pox on a four weekly appointment so yes and with holidays and kids being off it's it's so hard to juggle so yeah we just decided to remove the four nails that were hanging on and go in with a fresh new set so i've removed the nails i have done all the prep work pushed back cuticles gone in with my e-file on a low speed with my cuticle bit and just taken away all the non-living tissue that was sat around the nail folds and then we've etched the nail, dehydrated, and now I'm just going in with a nice thin clear base with crystal glass. And I'm also using the one monomer, the new monomer by CJP, which is primerless. And I'm using the Liz Guild brush. So I'm just making these nice and thin, ready for design to go on top of. And again, keep it really thin because you don't want to add bulk because you're going to add design on top of this and then cap in crystal glass as well. So I'm also using the CJP light pink butterfly forms. They're the best forms I've ever used. So yeah, I'll put everything in the description box below, but everything that I do use is CJP. So yeah, I'll just let you watch. Okay, so after we've applied all of our base, I remove all the forms and I just go in with my file and just try and perfect the shape a little bit, ready for design. So we're going to go in with a really nice, it's a very pretty set this, it's her engagement party in a few weeks. So she wanted something to match a dusky rose, goldy, pinky coloured dress. It's gorgeous. So we decided to go in with a classic ombre using um, a pink and white. So on the pinky, we've just gone in and done an ombre. You've watched me do that so many times. And if you haven't already, I do have videos previous where it's a little bit more in depth. I just cut it out for this video because you've watched me do it loads of times. So on the ring finger, we're going in with a reverse French. So with the reverse French method, I always like to place my bead where I kind of want the end of the smile line to go, if that makes sense. I flip my brush round and pull it back towards the cuticle at the back of the bead, making it nice and flush. And then using the sides of my brush just to perfect the shape of the smile line. And then I go in with a second bead at the cuticle area, tuck all that in and make it nice and neat, and then pull it over the rest of the bead, the previous bead that we've put on to smooth everything out. So I do go back in and perfect these smile lines, just making that wall a bit crisper with my hand file when it's all dry at the end before I place on anything at the tip and in the middle finger we do a glitter fade so we go in at the cuticle with my nice cover pink this is birthday soup it looks a bit darker actually on this so I'm just going in with that at the cuticle and bringing it down tucking it in nicely again with all the tip of my brush and then using the belly of the brush just to pull that product down towards the free edge. So 
So before I place my glitter, I just pick up a tiny bead of clear acrylic, dip into the raw glitter and then place it on the nail where I want it. So just using the tip of the brush really gently, especially for these gorgeous chunky mixes because they can be a bit of a nightmare to manipulate on the nail. So again with the tip of the brush, very gently nudging it across the nail. And with a nice swooshy sort of glitter fade like this, we're going to go up to the left corner and just tickle, tickle, tickle. It's like really gentle taps with the tip of the brush. Don't dig into anything because you end up making more of a mess. <laughs> and just cleaning up off the nail bed cover pink colour. So once this is all nice and dry, I will go in and cap with my crystal glass. I cap all the nails after I've finished. Um, on the index finger, we go in with another ombre. So a really nice ombre, the same as the pinky nail. And then on the thumb, we do a full glitter nail of this beautiful rose gold. So I'll just let you watch the rest of this and I'll be back. So once all the design is applied, I'm going to go back and cap all the nails with the glitter once they've all dried. Sometimes I do get a bit um, impatient and I go into cap straight away after applying the glitter and the glitter just goes everywhere. So yeah, let it dry. <laughs> it's definitely a lesson I've learnt. So yeah, cap the two glitter nails and then I'm going to go in and refine the smile line on the ring finger with my hand file. So I'll just come in and push my file against the wall of the smile line just to perfect all the shape and then we'll go in with a little bit of a glitter clear tip. So I'll just let you watch.
So once I've applied all the design to the tip on this nail, I'll go in and cap from the free edge up. We don't need to put clear acrylic towards the cuticle area because we've already built an apex and strength with the cover pink to create the smile line. So I'll just let you watch the rest of this. So we're just going to do exactly the same design on the left hand. So I'll just let you watch.
So once we've finished all of the design on all the nails, we go in and cap them all with crystal glass and then I'll do all my normal filing routine. So I'll go in with my e-file with a medium carbide drill bit and I'll just sort of, I'll have to do a video on this. I'm gonna do one in my next video. I'm gonna do it on myself because over the bank holiday Easter weekend, I have a few days off, which is lovely. So that's the chance I'll get to do my own. So <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do a video on how I use my e-file to do all my finished filing and things like that and some prep. Um, so yeah, I get all that done and then we go in with my hand file, do all my finished filing and refining with that for my shape after I've used the e-file and then I'll go in with some beautiful shiny top gloss. So this is the Tack Free Top Gloss by CJP and these will go in my LED lamp for 60 seconds to cure and then I'll let them cool and add cuticle oil. So I'll just let you watch the end of this video. But before I go, I just want to say again, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you would. And yeah, until my next one, guys, I can't wait. <laughs> Bye, everyone.